Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's that Jack Dan back with another every video. This time we're talking about every Bucky O'Hare from both old Hasbro and new Boss Fight Studios. So yeah, Boss Fight Studios teased that they were going to start their Bucky O'Hare series. And Hasbro had originally had that license. There's our tease of Bucky himself. Along with his first mate. And what Boss Fight Studios is going to give us with these figures. So here's your basic series. Thanks to Figure Realm for this list. So right here we got the tease here of what Bucky O'Hare is going to look like, not painted up yet. Little prototype. Work in progress showing Bucky O'Hare coming late 2017. More work in progress shots. And comparing it to the original Hasbro line as well and also comparing to other 6 inch scale figures. Yeah, nice articulation, nice looking figure here for Bucky O'Hare. Here's the card art for Bucky O'Hare, figure number one. You can see the number on the card there at the bottom. Collect them all, it's kind of shaded out, but shows you who they're going to be. There's the figure actually on card, showing Captain Bucky O'Hare and First Mate Jenny are the first two characters. And then we'll get coming soon an Astral Projection Jenny, a Stealth Mission Bucky, a Chief Gunner's Mate Deadeye Duck and a Storm Toad Trooper. You can see the little write-up on the back of the card there as well for Bucky. You can pause that and read it if you want to. And then give us some nice shots here of different poses for Bucky. You can see the cape on the back side, the shoulder pads. And again, comparing it to the original Hasbro versus other figures here. And this is not compared to a 6-inch figure, forgive me for that. This is compared to a 4-inch figure. So yeah, you can see the two guns, extra gloves, the different face sculpts. I'll show you later on how you switch those out. There is Bucky. The gun connects to the belt. That is awesome there. Got the little pegs there. Again, with those face sculpts, the guns, the gloves. And of course, Bucky himself, green hair. So figure number two is Jenny, first mate, which was not ever made in the old Hasbro waves. She was supposed to be made, but they canceled the line before she could. There she is on card, again with the write up there if you want to read up on what she is all about. Chief of the ship, Chief Petty Officer. Crystal Augmented Telekinesis. So there she is in package. You can see the extra hands with the blast effects, the extra face sculpts. And there again, showing that she is a right around five inches with her hair up tall. So she's bigger than Bucky. She's got the hair and the tail. There's that blast effect that she comes with. Big old green eyes. And there's all the pieces she comes with. And then, like I said, the facial expressions. Figure number three is the Stealth Mission Bucky O'Hare. And if you notice on the back of the card, you got reveals for the other members, even though this is just figure number three. But you see the Ash Projection Jenny and the Chief Gunner's mate, Dead Eye Duck, are finally showing up there on the card. Again, you can pause it and read up on that back of the card right there for his promo. Comes with two other face sculpts, extra gloves, and the blaster. And he's all camoed up. 
You can see the cape, same cape, same sculpt, everything, just different paint and scheme on him. Got the goggles on top of the head. Figure number four is the Astral Jenny. There she is on card. So she got more of a translucent look to her hair and her tail. Again, on the back of the card, you want to read that up. So there's that translucent look that you have. Instead of having the green eyes or black eyes this time. From all angles here. And a close-up of those effect pieces that she does come with. Figure number five is our dead eye duck. There's the card. Figure on card from the back there, showing it off. Again, if you want to read up on what that says. Comes with four blasters, since he's got four arms. Got the eye patch over his eye. Nice articulation there for those four arms. As compared to the original Dead Eye Duck from Hasbro. And a nice green eye for him. Compared to the other figures in the wave, the general figures, I should say. And then compared to the alternate figures. A little limited edition holiday Bucky here, looking like a chocolate bunny. See the cape's the exact same, exact same sculpt, just painted as if he's a chocolate bar. Our chocolate bunnies, that's figure number eight in the line. You can read up on that to write up if you want to. And then Toy Shiz did some, or Toy Arc did some nice shots here of this bunny in his basket. So that's pretty cool looking. So don't mistake this plastic for candy, don't eat it. There's the chocolate bunny compared to the other two bunnies that we've seen. Here we go with figure number 12, Mimi Lafleur. Extra face sculpts here, she got the hat, the blasters, the extra hands. Actually on the card there. Front and back, you can see the actual figure numbers on the back there, and they do skip figures. It looks like you got one, two, three, four, and five of the good guys, and here you got seven or twelve as well, and then you got seven and eleven of the bad guys on the back of that card. There she is from all angles with those different facial expressions compared to Bucky's scale. She is from all angles, got that tail articulation, a little star up in her, in her uh, hair, right below her ears, and there you go, that's how you can tell how they swap the faces off. So I knew I could show you that sometime. There she is compared to Bucky. A little work in progress, coming 2018, nice little frog. And there is our Storm Toad Trooper Basic Purple Weapons. This is figure number seven in the line. So there's our villain here. You'll read up if you want to write read that there again. Again, notice the purple or pink weapons there. I like the fact that he's got that hat he comes with too in a regular head sculpt. All right, then we got our deluxe exclusives and whatever. So again, this is the Anniverse, Anniverse Storm Toad Trooper, figure number 11. And notice this time he has a blue weapon. So figure 11 there. Read up on that one. And there's a difference with this because he's got the blue weapon. 
So we got a little tease here rendering of our deluxe figure bruiser. Little sculpting of him as well, not painted. Love the chain coming out of those to the ear. Those massive feet, spikes on the arms. That face sculpt is amazing, open mouth and closed. And there he is in package figure number 10 on the line. From the sides and the back. So you got the open and the closed mouth sculpt. Got the blaster, the banana, and extra hands. Compared to the Bucky scale. And crushing one of the toads. All right, nice little Corsair Dead-Eyed Duck here with a lunchbox. This is a 2017 Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. You see the extra beaks that he comes with, extra guns, different colors. Nice color scheme on this guy, extra hands. And there's that lunchbox. Front and the back. Front showing the ship there, and the back showing Bucky running at you, or vice versa. Yeah, I'd assume that's the front right there. Bucky come running at you with his team. In the back with their ship, Righteous Indignation. So yeah, pretty cool for Boss Fight Studios. Haven't seen any of these lately, so I don't know if this line is now dead or what. But yeah, nice set of figures for Boss Fight Studios taking over from Hasbro. There they all are loose. And there they all are in package. Alright, so let's jump into Hasbro and their Bucky O'Hare figures. From back in the day. So let's start off talking about the accessories or vehicles here. So here we go with the Toad Croaker in package here. Features the Toad Croaking Sound. Take that you slimy fly eater. Here's the side of the packages. Showing the Hasbro symbol on the side as well. The back of it showing the Toad Croaker number one. Model, drive, systems, options, all that stuff you can read up on right there. Variable intensity projector. Laser shield contains aerials for communications and radar. There's the top and the bottom of it. You see Bucky over here on the bottom. There it is on the side. Got your stickers kind of peeling off. Let's croak toads. Gotta love these old toys. Here's the Spanish box. Called it the crap, crap aside. And we got the other vehicle, which is the Toad Double Bubble in package here. Har har har! This is easier than catching flies in a pop bottle. Pop. Let's make mammal smash. Clip this hair. Croak croak. There's the size of that package and the back of it. So we're going to use vehicle number two. Now I love your pilot bubbles there. Those are cool. The grappling hooks there on the side. The strings there with it. Got your skate pod, escape hatch. Again with the stickers on the front. And with your hatches open. There's that Spanish box for as well for this. Space crap is what they call this. So 
Yeah, here's our good guys. So we'll go through all those. This is not the number order, but they were released in 1990 by Hasbro. So six good guys. So here's your figure number one, Bucky O'Hare. You see him on card, front and back of the package, showing the heroes and the villains. Collect them all. Bucky's got his blaster, his cape on. sides front and back with the weapon on the side there there's your Spanish version in the back of the card for Spanish here's our figure number two dead eye duck front back of the card you can see the write up on the back that's crocus some toads mates Front and back of the figure, holding all four guns. All other angles here. We got our Willie Doon Wit, figure number three. Got his glasses on. Helmet off with the blaster on the side. Helmet on. No glasses on this version here. Guess they got lost. There's your Spanish version card. Here's our figure number four, AFC Blinky. Front and back of that card. Front and back of the figure. The blaster on the side there, the backpack on the back. Massive eyeball there. Some detailed shots of that backpack. And your Spanish card. Called him Cyclor. We got our Bruiser, number seven, the Berserker Baboon. Got his blaster he comes with as well. Teeth out, the nose ring out of the nose, up to his ear. Very cool figure. And there's your Spanish version card. Got a figure number nine here with Commander Dogstar. Blaster he's got. From all angles. We got our bad guys. Toad Air Marshal, figure number five. Big old blaster for this little guy. Got our Toad Borg. A cyborg toad, I guess. From all angles. Spanish version of the card. We got our Al Negator. Got a green blaster there. Big old tail hanging out the back. Green teeth and eyes. There's your Spanish card. Croco stalled. And then we've got our figure number 10, Storm Toad Trooper. Front and back. Sides. And your Spanish card. Here they all are loose. And in package.
And we have some unproduced second series and third series toys that we got some images of. So it's on the back of a card here. You can see Jenny, Bucky O'Hare in his other costume there, Rumblebee, Pit Stop Pete, Kamikaze Camo. And then on the bottom, you got your Sly Lizard, your Total Terror Toad. So let's check a look at those. Also at the bottom, upcoming for Wave 3, Calvin Lippus Smythe, Digger McSquint, Tadpole Tribute, and Complex we'll look at. Also some vehicles. So check it out in this book right here. Showed off the figure assortment for Wave 1, but also showing Wave 2 figures that could have been with like the Jenny and the Bucky with his space suit on there, lifeline. Also the Toad up there at the top. Flip the page, you got more play sets and vehicles here. The Battle Bucket, the Twin Turbo Toad Thrasher. And there are more detail here with the Buck you'll hear in the Spacewalk, Lifeline, Jenny, Rumble Bumble, or Rumble Bee, Pit Stop Pete, Kamikaze Camo, Total Terror Toad, and Sly Lizard, and also the Righteous Indignation. Wow. That could have been cool. Look at the top there. You can see some more zoomed in of some more vehicles. With the twin turbo toad thrasher, the battle bucket, and the toad bomber. Buck O'Hare 91 Hasbro line had an impressive second year lineup with seven new figures, three great new vehicles, and an inventive playset concept. There were a number of first series problems due to the production snafus or a marketing plan spread too thin. Pieces of the line came to retail at wide intervals. You couldn't get all of the components till close to Christmas. With no great sales concentration over the extended period, enough toy buyers turned thumbs down on the second year, offering to get the line canceled. So here was the artwork for the package for the Spacewalk Lifeline Bucky O'Hare. Nice weapons there, nice costume on top of him. And there he would have been in package. He would have been figure number 11. There's a prototype of him. We have figure number 12 with Jenny finally. It's a really nice chromed up armor there. There's that figure, not as chrome as what was in the package. There's the back of her card, can't hardly see it. We also had the Total Terror Toad, which would be figure number 13. Prototype of him, all the weapons he's coming with. A little image there, drawing of him. Double axe is wielded. And there is his prototype again with the card back and the image from the magazine. Also his prototype right there painted up. We had Pit Stop Pete here, figure number 15. There's his prototype, not painted. Looks like he may have an articulated jaw, I'm not sure. There's a nice little write-up on his back back of his card. A little drawing of him. Looks awesome. And the figure itself. And we had our figure number 16, Rumble B. The artwork for him. A 
nice close-up of the figure and package in the back of the card. Zoom in so you can read up on him. And his artwork. Nice close-up of the uh, concept figure there. Paint it up. And what do you look like on the advertisement? Got our kamikaze camo here. The nunchucks. The artwork there. I wish the figure would have turned out like that artwork though. My goodness. Those bottom arms are amazing. There's a scale. Prototype there with all kinds of weapons, unpainted, and then the picture from the article. We got our Sly Lizard prototype here. Picture from the article, got the tongue sticking out, the sword, the blaster. And the artwork, they called him a Guanadon originally. The Righteous Indignation. Check out that artwork right there. Of course, the place that wasn't going to look quite as good as this, but it was pretty cool. You have the base there the coming up that could make it rock. A little piece on the top that would come out. Wrestling Nation was an innovative playset designed based on the Bucky O'Hare's floating diner turned space frigate. The main gun magazine held six gravity-fed missiles, which could be fired in rapid succession by the child controlling the pivoting fuselage. The set also featured a removable beacon pod with two spring-mounted missiles. There's the beacon pod. And there's the whole play set showing the kid being able to shoot the guns. Here's the battle bucket, the artwork here. There is the toy looking amazing. I like all those claws and everything. This is cool looking. You also have the twin turbo toad terror, which is like a World War II plane. Got the stars all over it, like it's flying throughout our space. Massive projectiles coming out. And then we had the Toad Bomber. Such a cool vehicle. Wave 3, we had a blister card or blaster here, I'm sorry. So there's the prototype for the blaster we could have got, life size. And the artwork it would have had. We had our Wave 3 Calvin Lupus Smythe, or aka Wolf, unpainted. We had some artwork for Digger McSquint. That would have been cool. And we had some artwork for Complex. Here's the Tadpole Tribute, Reference Art 4. Little blurry shots of the Storm Toad Trooper. Some artwork for Jenny Complex and Tadpole Tribute. We have the Sly Lizard, another Storm Toad Trooper, the Total Terror Toad, and another Jenny. And here's your first shot of Smiley. Get your Buck O'Hare in his Spacewalk Lifeline and the Rumblebee.
cannot believe they missed out on such great figures and vehicles and play sets. This would have been so cool. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments, hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you ever hit that thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. And guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.